good win. I thought we played much, much better. Um, our defense was, was better. We kept the ball in front. We guarded the ball better, uh, better than we have. Um, I thought we rebounded pretty well. Uh, we gave up some offense rebounds in the first half. They did a great job of tipping them out. We had our guards coming down, and they tipped them out and where our guards would be to kind of chase some things long and loose. They were able to tip those things out. But I thought, um, I thought Darius Days played great. Obviously, Cam uh, was tremendous. Um, I thought Imwani Wilkinson played well. It was good to get Charles Manning back in a rhythm. Josh LeBlanc did some good things for us. So uh, just a total team win. But we had practiced. We had a good practice yesterday. Um, you know, outside of losing Sharif in the practice with his foot. Um, he should be back hopefully in, an, in another week or so. But I thought we had a good practice, good preparation. We were a little more locked in and um, showed, uh, showed tonight. Will, are you at all surprised by the poise that this team is showing, uh, specifically the young guys on the team? Obviously, Dave and Javante have been in these kinds of you know situations. Yeah. I thought – I thought also, I thought Javante played great tonight. You know, he had six assists, two turnovers. I know he didn't shoot it great, but that's hard to do, man. Yesterday was his first full practice with us, and for him to come back and play a bunch of minutes and do what he had to do in, in, in this type of situation, I thought he did well. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think our guys are, are, are poised. Uh, it helps when we've got some of those veterans out there, Javante, Trendon, and Days. I think it helps when we've got those guys – when we've got those guys um, – uh, out there, but but I think Cam's very poised and Wani's uh, wise for his years. Um, you know, LeBlanc's been LeBlanc's been around the block a little bit, so we've got some guys that have that have done it at a high level over uh, over a sustained period of time, and um, you know, hopefully we can keep that trait this year. Hey, Coach on that Sweet 16 team a couple of years ago, Darius Days would come in and he'd shoot from the outside and give you that element of the game, and he's still giving you that now. But now it seems like he's getting inside, he's banging, he's rebounding. He led you in rebounds tonight with 10. Can you just kind of talk about his evolution of the game in, in that regard? Well, he shoots, you know, he shot 50% from three tonight. He shot over 50% from the field, 7 of 13, I believe. Uh, but, you know, he, he, he shoots like over 70% from two. Uh, he's a tremendous finisher. He's, a, he, he's one of the top ten uh, offensive rebounders in the entire country. I mean, he, he's a phenomenal offensive rebounder. But he brings his hard hat every day, works every day. Um, he's in that gym getting shots up, working on finishing. Um, he's very, very consistent in practice with his effort, with his talk. And um, you know, it allows him to, to have success. And that's what you want. He's grown uh, over, uh, over the course of a couple years. And, been a very, uh, very, very good player for us. Hey, Coach, we were just talking to Cam, and he told us, you know, essentially, you know, when you have, when you put in the kind of work that he does, you, he kind of expects, you know, nights like tonight. I mean, for him to drop 32 in his, you know, SEC opener, can you just talk about, you know, just kind of the work he puts in and also just his first performance out there in a big SEC environment like tonight? Well, he's as consistent of a worker as I've ever seen as a freshman. I mean, He's never late. He shows up every day. He has a 9 a.m. shooting slot every morning, six days a week. He only doesn't shoot on Saturday mornings. He shoots Sunday through Friday, every day, 9 a.m., hour and 15 minutes, and gets his work in. And um, he's about his business. Um, he prepares well. He watches a lot of basketball. He knows what's going on. He's got a great feel for things. He's got a great feel for, for open areas and, 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 and where things are. And um, He's a tremendous, tremendous uh, – talent and um, I'm glad he um, glad he's playing for the old Tigers. Coach, uh, Darius said that they had a little chip on their shoulder from basically did you kind of challenge them a little bit after the, the Nickel State game or what, what did he mean by that? Oh I don't know Scott you'd have to ask him. Um, we had a uh, we had a spirited uh, film session I think Nelson was worried I was going to break the TV um, from punching it uh, on a couple uh, things. So we had a very, very spirited film session on, uh, on uh, Sunday, and I think that led to some good uh, practices. You know, this team, I'll say this about this team, man, our leadership, we've been so, so good. I haven't had to, to, to that's probably the first time all year I've kind of flown off the handle. So maybe that's what Darius was talking about. Not flown off the handle, just very upset and disappointed with our effort and, and our, our purpose and our focus. Um, and so, you know, 
whereas I was doing it once a week probably last year, like this is the first time in, in a month I've had to, I mean, we've been, we've, it's been pretty smooth sailing with this group because we've got some internal leadership. We've got some guys that want to be great. It's been, been pretty, pretty, pretty solid. And so, you know, I just, you know, we were stepping up. I think I said that on the, on the Zoom the other day. There's no more lightweights. Like, this is heavyweight fights from here on out. And what we did on Saturday, on Saturday wasn't going to work. And I thought Nichols played harder than us. I thought Nick. I mean, you know, it, it shows we can do it. We get out rebounded by Nichols, and we go rebound against a very good A and M team, and just and, and, and pound them on the glass. And so, it shows we can do it. And my my point was, you know, let's not waste what we've got. We've got great players. We've got a great team. We've got great chemistry. No need to waste this right now. Like let's let's get the most out of this. Let's enjoy this. Let's enjoy this journey. And. Um, you know, we need to we need to play better to do that. We need to establish our home court and establish that we're going to be a contender in the SEC. Yeah, well, uh, two things. First, uh, in the first half, I guess the first 12 minutes, when it, when it wasn't going great, it seemed like Charles Manning really gave all lift and, and looked like his old self. That, that's one. Secondly, Trent Watford still looked hurt, like he was really struggling trying to play through an ankle. Can you talk about that? I um, mean, Watford... Watford's um, ankle is seems to be fine. I mean, he, he practiced and worked out. We'll we'll, we'll get it looked at uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, he just had a he had a he had a rough night, but he did some other good things. He guarded well. Um, he did he did some he, he he was huge in keeping the ball out of the elbow. He did some things that really really contributed to us winning. But they were um, you know the way their defense is it builds in up top. So there's very few driving angles for him and 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 um, and for Javante. And so you have to play behind it. That's why Amwani was so effective cutting and finishing behind the basket. It's part of the reason Manning he was cutting from the 45 and and he was effective. And then Cam was able to kind of sneak behind the defense there. Um, and so Manning had some good baseline drives and. And um, yeah, I thought Manning was back to being his old self. He started work. He, he's, you know, he's, there's so much that goes into things in the sense that, you know, Manning's a, a hard worker, and because we were just coming back from the foot injury, he was just showing up to practice. He wasn't getting his extra shots in. He wasn't doing his vitamins every day. He wasn't doing what we do every day, and so he was just kind of coming to practice. What well, throws him off rhythm? The last three or four days he's been able to get the vitamins in the morning he's been able to get a shooting routine in. he's been able to get his you know he's been able to kind of get back in routine we're very routine oriented and um, he's been able to do that and I think that helped him um, you know look like his old self a little bit more tonight yeah, coach what was it like seeing Darius days and Cam just the combination of their points they nearly outscored A&M by themselves what was the, the flow really going between the two of them I mean, it's fun to watch. Um, you know, it's fun to watch. They're two prolific scorers. We've got we've got a lot of guys on this team that can that can really really uh, that can really really uh, score it. And uh, those are certainly two of them. You've got Wofford and Smart who have done it. I'm telling y'all, we haven't seen it yet. But Eric Gaines is the same. He's built the same way. I mean, he's electric. He had 35 in one of our scrimmages. I mean, he can really he can really go. Um, and so, you know, we've, we've got some guys. I thought LeBlanc, LeBlanc did a great job tonight on the glass. Um, and, and so, we, you know, it's fun, to, it's fun to watch. I think we're, you know, tonight when we guard like that, we're a little bit more fun to watch. But we're always, we're always fairly solid offensively. And so I give our guys a lot of credit tonight offensively. The way A&M plays, I told them, this, guys, this is about players. This ain't about plays. Usually we can dial some stuff up and get guys looks and that sort of thing. Like this was – Players playing in space, having to play off two feet, make the right reads, that sort of thing. And our players did a really nice job. You probably just answered it, but I guess is that um, you talked in the offseason about a little bit longer leash, I think, or, or maybe adjusting to the way that you approach the game. Is it because you're getting the defense that you want that you're letting this offense kind of flow like it is? Or was it the game plan tonight, like you, like you said? Well, the game plan, you can't really – I mean, by the time you break their little triangle – one, two, two, there's about, you know, 21, 22 seconds on the clock. Then they're scrambling for a little bit. If you let them reset, they're going to be in them. They're going to be in those gaps so tight. They're, they're, I mean, it's, it's be like driving into the Great Wall of China. I mean, there's just nothing there. There's nowhere to go. And so, um, you know, you've got to, you've got to make a decision whether you want to do that and play with them in the forties or fifties and slug it out with them in the forties or fifties or whether you're going to trust your players and let them kind of roll and, 
and that's what uh, you know. That's what we did tonight. We have time for two more. Well, uh, for a team that obviously has a lot of scores, your players look like they're they're very willing to share the ball and to to, to share the ball to to not just go with the hot hand, hot hand, but you know who, whoever. Uh, do you like what you see in that regard? Yeah, I think we had 16 assists on 30 made baskets tonight. Um, our guys like each other, man. We got a good group. We've got the right mix of got really good people. We don't have any any um, we, you know we, we hadn't had any any issues off the we, we just hadn't had a lot of issues that maybe we had last year and so uh, that's with our team staff manager everybody we've just been we've just been uh, we've just we're just a lot more connected and, and, and it's a lot better and a lot smoother and I think I think that shows that they they enjoy playing together they enjoy practice they enjoy playing together and I think that shows up Glenn Sharif I told you I said he hurt his foot he's out for uh, a week to 10 days did you miss that earlier I was, he's out a week to 10 days. That's what the doctor was looking at it. I, see, I can see the chat down here. Um, and so uh, he's out a week to 10 days. We'll, we'll get it reevaluated. Doc was looking at it. He's supposed to, uh, uh, what's that daggum machine called where you run and there's no gravity, the zero gravity running thing? I can't think of the name of it. He's supposed to start running on that this week. We'll see how it goes. He can help us rebound, and we, 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 we need him back. Yeah, you know, well, Scott touched on this a second ago, but is this the best team you've had as far as understanding when somebody's hot, they give it to them? Because it seems like that's the way it is. And, and, and can you recruit to that? Can you find guys who fit personalities to recruit to that? Yeah. Uh, he's saying Glenn's coming for your job, Sheldon. He's asking injury reports. You're asleep at the wheel up there. Um, uh, I think that's what he's saying. I'm trying to interpret here, but I'm pretty sure that's what he's. I'm pretty sure that's what he's. Uh, what he's saying. Ron, what? Was, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Recruit to that. Yeah, I mean, shoot. Yeah, I mean, you. We, we can. Uh, 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 we can recruit to that, and you, you, you've got to fit the personality of your team, and and maybe we hadn't done as good a job of that. Um, our first year it fit. Our second year it fit. Last year it was a. It was a. Bad concoction uh, on the old chemistry experiment. So. We, we had to, um, you know, we had to adjust some things, and I think that's, I think that certainly helped us. And you know, we've got, we've got unselfish guys. We've got guys who, who like playing together, and it's um, so far been so good. All right, thanks, guys. I'm sure we'll have a presser some other time this week. See you then. Kent will, Kent will be with you to schedule shortly. <laughs> Sheldon, I'll see you tomorrow night at TJ Ribs.